Hey guys, I'm Rodin. Welcome to Water Baby Tarot presented by Balmy Spirit. I'm going to be doing the check-ins. I'm not doing these in any particular order. It's whatever sign calls to me first. And Sag, you are front and center. So this is going to be for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you're new to tarot, please check out the link below for how to interpret tarings as a viewer. You guys know how it goes. These are not going to be for everybody. There's a very, very general. If the messages are reversed, that's okay. That's fine. You'll know if it's for you. If it's not for you, Nothing wrong with that, okay? Just wasn't your video, wasn't your reading, okay? Sag, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm actually going Witch's Tarot for you guys. So when I was meditating on your energy, Sag, I was getting this, uh, this vibe that you're kind of like, you've been trying to manifest something, it like very specifically feels like manifestation. Uh, it doesn't feel like, I really want this. Like it feels like you've actively been trying to pull something into you, not even like, well, and maybe that's part of it, Sag, because I don't feel like you're actually moving towards it. I feel like you're just trying to pull it towards you, which you can do. I mean, that is a form of manifestation, um, and everybody can manifest differently in whatever way works for them. But I don't feel like you're actually putting effort towards it. You're trying to pull it into you. I got to be honest, Sag, and keep in mind, this could be someone else who's doing this to you because it can be reversed, right? But it might be that you're trying to get someone's attention, or it could be that you're actually trying to, like, lure someone in it feels a little bit like that and again Saj, someone could be doing this to you some of you that you're definitely just trying to pull a manifestation into your reality but you're kind of wondering if you should give up to be honest is what i was getting because i think you've been doing it for a while and i think you're starting to get to the point where it's like well it's not happening why is it not happening should i keep putting energy into this or should i just give up is it not meant for me? Do I not, like, am I not supposed to have it right now? Is there something better for me? Like, you're starting to really wonder why it's not happening the way you're expecting it to, okay? It feels a little, like, hangman energy. Oh, excuse me. Any messages for Sagittarius? Like, keep in mind, these are very general because I'm just literally doing a quick check-in on your energy for the Sag Collective. Whatever needs to come through needs to come through, okay? And this can be in any realm of your life, as you guys know. <sighs> Any messages for Sagittarius? Yeah, I feel heavy, like, magician energy. I'm also getting a lot of mercurial energy. I mean, keep in mind, Sag, like, uh, we're, we're in pre-shadow for Mercury retrograde. We're also in Gemini season, so that could be it. But I feel heavy mercury energy, okay? So you could be dealing with a mercurial sign. You could have heavy mercurial placements. There's an emphasis on, yeah, I feel like you're trying to pull someone into you. I can't shake that feeling. Like, it's not just something you're trying to pull into your reality. Like, you're trying to pull someone towards you. You're aware. I almost, I almost was like, well, maybe you don't know you're doing this. I'm like, no, you know, you know. <laughs> you know. Like I said, Sag, it can also be vice versa. And if it is vice versa, then someone's pulling on you. So, like, you could be seeing, like, you could be seeing, like, their name everywhere. Or you could be seeing different symbols. Um, you could be thinking about them all the time, but you're not sure why, you know, it could be like that. I gotta be honest. Yeah. It, for, for some of you where this is like vice versa, where someone's pulling you in, I feel like there's a little bit of like sexual magic going on there. So I'm like, hmm, hmm. But that's the thing. It's not working. Like the desired effect of pulling the manifestation into reality is not actually happening. Okay. Besides, if you're not pulling someone in, you just want to pull your goal in and it's just not happening. And you're like, meh, maybe it's time to stop. Any messages for Sagittarius, please? Okay. That's pretty good. Any messages for Sagittarius? Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm not taking that. That's a lot. Any messages for Sagittarius? <laughs> it's like 10 cards. Any messages for Sagittarius, please? All right, let's see what we have here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. See, you're wondering if you should give up. We have the Page of Cups with the Seven of Wands in reverse Leo energy with the Ten of Wands in reverse Sag. You're kind of just tired of trying to make it happen or tired of trying to fight for it. Yeah, it's almost like you can't actually fight for it. Yeah, Sag, I, again, some of you where this is vice versa, I feel like someone's pulling on you. I feel like someone's trying to pull you into their reality, but I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working because Seven of Wands in reverse can also be like, you know, they don't really have anything to stand on. Like whatever they're fighting for, they don't really have a position to fight for it. And that's kind of what I'm getting with this, Sag, whether this is you or someone else. And with the Ten of Wands in reverse, it's like, yeah, I think it's time to kind of give this up. 
think it's time to give this up. And there could be actual communication involved here, but I really feel like you're kind of solo in this energy, or if it's vice versa, they're very solo in this energy. I feel like Page of Cups is just like, is just really understanding the truth. And I like Page of Cups means that there's like an emotional component here. Okay. It's also the card of honesty. It's also the card of honesty. And Sag, if you're trying to pull something into your reality, like if you're trying to manifest something and it's not happening, it really could be that it's just not meant for you right now. And that's okay. Or there's something better for you. Any other messages for Sagittarius, please? Any other messages for Sagittarius? So we have... The world in reverse, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which rules Capricorn. And then we have the death card. Yeah. Scorpionic energy. Yeah. So the world in reverse, you, you, you really don't want to give up on it, but then you're like, damn it, I need to. I feel like if you're not about to give up on it, I feel like spirit's just going to like shut this down is really how this feels. Like, if you've been trying to manifest a relationship or something like that, Sag, uh, I almost feel like this is, I'm surprised the towers are here because that's kind of how it feels. Almost like quick shutdown on this, like a quick shutdown. Any other messages for Sagittarius, please? Keep in mind, Sag, this could be someone around you or someone you're connected to as well. All right, now we've got, wow. Uh, I thought it was definitely about another person. Looky here. We've got the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, could also be air or fire with the Six of Cups, Scorpionic energy, Clyde, don't even think about it. Mm-mm, sit, sit. <laughs> he just was like, can I jump up? Can I jump up? No, you can't. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, Libra energy, could also be air or water. I did just hear fire. Uh, you are fire, Sag. But yeah, honestly, Sag... I feel like someone's trying to pull you into their into their reality. You could be doing this to them, so take it as it resonates. I'm not going to repeat that again. But I feel like someone's pulling, trying to pull you in, and it's not happening. It's not working. And so since it, you're not like getting pulled into their reality here, there's this there's this heavy energy of like, oh shit, like I can't make this happen. I can't pull them in. I can't pull them in, and I think I have to stop. But someone doesn't want to give up. With the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. I feel communication about this. I feel like a quick rush in of just like of blurting out the truth or blurting out some kind of communique. With the Six of Cups, there's definitely um, there's definitely a lot of soul energy here. You could have a long history with them. Not necessarily. I feel I feel more like soul contract, like past life kind of stuff. Yeah, I feel more like yeah, I feel more like past life. You might have a history, but if it, if you do have a history, I don't think it's very deep. To be completely honest with you. Overall, we do have the Seven of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy, and there's the King. King of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy, a lot of Aqua going on right there. Could also be Gemini or Libra, yeah. Five of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy. Oh, Sag. So we now have a true pair, the King and Queen of Swords. So again, Sag, someone's pulling the other one in. I feel like the King of Swords is trying to pull in the Queen of Swords. I feel like they're trying really hard to pull them in energetically. And I do feel it's manifestation. I believe they're very aware of what they're trying to do. But it's not happening. It's not working. And because it's not working, they might try like a last ditch effort of actually doing something. <laughs> of actually physically doing something. Instead of energetically just trying to pull you, pull you, pull you, pull you, pull you. You know? Yeah, because they, they can't. It's not, it's not working. They know it's not working. And I just keep feeling a little bit of like a spiritual like intervention. Like, and it feels like a tower. Again, I'm surprised the tower's not out here. I feel like spirit's coming in to be like, you cutting the shit out. Stub it. <laughs> like, th the shit's done. Can't do this anymore. Can't do this anymore. I, and you know, I think spirit's doing that to kind of be like, you're either going to go and do, do something about this or you're not. And it forces them to go and do something about it. It forces them to talk, to talk about it. But overall, look at this energy, Sag. The Seven of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, and the Five of Cups in reverse. Again, I just feel like they've been very sneaky about it. They've been very indirect about it. They haven't been very like forthcoming about it. 
Even if you guys are communicating, I, I don't feel like you guys are communicating that much. Sag, you could be the Queen of Swords or the King of Swords. The King of Swords is definitely pulling on the Queen, without a doubt pulling on the Queen. Um, the King of Swords has been uh, very much withholding of communication. Again, even if you guys talk, this King doesn't talk nearly as much as they actually want to. It's kind of sad. I almost feel like it's like a little, like they don't really believe in themselves. Like there's almost, yeah, I'm getting a self-esteem issue with this King. It could be fear of rejection. It usually is. <laughs> right? It usually is. Um, yeah, I'm getting a self-esteem issue with them, which is why they're doing it like this. Almost like there's no way they, they would like normally go for this unless the other person confronted them first, unless the other person said something first. And since this queen is not, right? The back is turned. Like since the queen is not, they're they're kind of being forced to do something because there's definitely like a harsh ending, it feels like, to this like energetic manifestation cycle. There's gotta be something triggering this though. Again, it feels a little like, like spiritual intervention, but I feel like it's relating to the queen. Yeah, I think there's something going on with this queen that's forcing the energetic pulling to stop. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, they're saying yes. My, my guides are saying yes. There's something going on with this queen or this queen has made a decision recently or this queen has decided to do something or not do something. Um, there's been a change with this queen and that's forcing the energetic pulling from the king to stop, which is forcing the king to physically do something and not just try to pull on them energetically. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I want to see what's going on with this queen. Where are we at? Oh, 11 minutes. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at making these shorter. Okay, using the Gilded Tarot. Let's go on this Queen of Swords. What's going on with this Queen of Swords? I'm hearing, I actually am hearing fleeing the scene. Oh boy. Fleeing the scene. What's going on with this Queen of Swords, please? There is a lot of emo there is emotion here. And I feel like I have to say that because I feel like this king doesn't embody that very much or very well. Like they don't express it. I mean, they're not even speaking as much as they want to speak. Like this is the kind of person who's literally like, I'm just gonna pull on them until they come to me. And whatever change has gone on this queen is putting that cycle to an end. And it's forcing this king to speak. Like, yeah, this is someone who's not forth, forthcoming in general uh, with their own words, with their own truth. And again, that's a, it's a self-esteem issue. But they do have emotion. So it's like, I doubt they express it. I really doubt they express that. Tell me about this queen of swords. What's going on with this queen? What's going on with this queen? Wow, we have six of wands, Jupiter, Leo energy with the three of cups, uh, Cancerian energy. Whatever change has gone on this queen, it's a nice badass change. <laughs> They're being celebrated. They're having fun. They're getting a lot of attention. They could be like just hanging out with a lot of friends. I just feel, yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of like praise, a lot of like, oh, like you're doing so good or whatever. Like I feel like the change that's gone on this queen might have been actually coming out of a time of like being isolated. It feels like this queen is like, getting around a lot of people. And for some, they're actually being rewarded for something or recognized for something of their efforts. And that's for some reason changing this king's uh, tactic here, changing this king's method of I'm just gonna pull on the queen until they come to me. I think because this queen is around a lot of people now, the king is like, oh shit. Now I really have to stand, that's what it is. Then now they have to stand out. They can't just pull on them energetically. Now they have to stand out because this queen's around a lot of people. Let's see what else wants to come out. What's going on with this queen of swords? Ooh. Feel jealousy. <laughs> we have page of pentacles in a verse and the page of swords. Uh, this queen's being watched. So like I said, this queen is being celebrated. Um, or they're being congratulated. Or they're just around a lot of people. Again, I just feel like they have a lot of attention right now. A lot of people want to be around them. A lot of people might want to party with them. They have the, the eyes and attention of a lot of other individuals, even if it's platonic, right? Because for a lot of you, let's be real, this is feeling a little romantic, right? And this King of Swords is like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? And they're watching 
they're observing that, they're noticing. At the very least, they're noticing and it's making them kind of jealous, okay? For some, this could be a work scenario. For some, it could be that, but the king wouldn't pull on the queen like this if it was just work, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm just saying it could also be taking place in the workplace because we do have like quite a bit of earthy energy here. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly feeling a little bit of envy, a little bit of jealousy, a little territorial kind of energy. I'm getting a lot of Taurian energy with that. Let's with the Queen of Swords. A lot of cards coming out now. Let's find out the Queen of Swords. What's going on with this Queen of Swords? Oh, lordy. Okay. Apparently a lot's going on with this queen. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you all the cards first and we'll get into it. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, with the Knight of Pentacles. More Virgo. Could also be Earth or Fire. Ooh. Who? Knight of Wands. Sag Energy. Could also be Aries or Leo. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn. And then we have a set here. Oh. <laughs> we have the moon in reverse, Piscean energy, could also be Cancer, and for me as a reader, Six of Swords, Aqua, King of Cups, Scorpionic energy, could also be water or air. Overall for the Queen of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. So let's, let's talk about this. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Two Knights, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So this King is watching this Queen being around a lot of people, being social, maybe even being rewarded or congratulated for something, a lot of attention, okay? A lot of attention. And there's a lot of focus here with this Eight of Pentacles energy um, on trying to figure out how to like, how to approach with the two knights. It could also be that there's like a couple suitors around this queen, because I feel, again, this queen's got a lot of attention. They could have a couple suitors. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling more than one, to be honest. Even if it's something just very like, subtly flirty but the three of pentacles in a verse this this king and queen they can't they can't seem to like get on the same page honestly i feel like the queen's kind of removed herself i think the queen's kind of been done with this because i think the pulling like i think this queen has realized that she was she or he was getting pulled on by this king energetically instead of like anything physical happening and this queen has decided to move, move on into getting attention from other people, okay? Or just surrounding themselves with people that are not afraid to just be around them very physically, right? So now this king is trying to figure out a plan of action on approaching this queen because there's no cooperation between the two of them. And then we have this. We've got the moon in reverse with the six of swords and the king of cups, okay? Uh, there's going to be something that's going to be revealed here about, honestly, it... I feel like this queen might not just have like suitors, but like maybe one in particular that they could be going off off with, okay? Where there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of love. Like I said, this king, this king, if I can hold these up, come on. Not exactly forthcoming in those emotions, right? This could be someone who actually self-sabotages themselves because, again, there's a self-esteem issue, and that's why they pull in the queen so much instead of just coming to them. They want to have this queen in their reality. They want to have this queen in their environment. That's what they want. But they haven't had the confidence to come in and be very direct with her or him because it can be him, right? So we, don't read gen we don't read gender. We just read energy. They haven't been upright about it. They haven't been forthcoming about it. And so now they're watching this queen basically get away. For some, it might be too late that this queen has already gotten away with someone, a king of cups who's already shown up, and now they're like kind of riding off into the sunset, so to speak. Uh, for a couple of, couple of you, this queen does have a couple suitors, okay? Because again, they're around a lot of people getting a lot of attention. Either way, this king is going to try. They're trying to formulate a plan of action. It might be too late. Just being honest, it might be too late for this King of Swords. Overall, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse energy. Wasted time. Wasted time. Wasted time. This queen feels like she's wasted time on this king, that she's wasted time like not doing this in the first place, not going out and being around people or not going out and pursuing other suitors or letting other people pursue her. Yeah, even underneath that, I'm noticing. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag. This is definitely like, I wasted my time. I'm giving up on this king. That's definitely that kind of energy. It's time, it's time to, to go out and have a good time. It's time to go out and be seen, basically, for this queen. And this king is like, damn it, why did I wait? <laughs> why did I wait? Why didn't I do this sooner? So like I said, for some of you, it's too late. For some, it's not. Everyone's situation is going to be different. But Sag, that's basically it. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. And I will see you guys later. Don't forget to check out Vimeo and Patreon. What else? <laughs>
<laughs> everything is linked below if you're looking for like website stuff and social media stuff i kind of feel bad for this king i kind of feel bad because like they just didn't they just you know they weren't direct because they didn't have the confidence and that's kind of sad that's kind of sad and this queen got tired this queen got tired of feeling them instead of seeing them touching them right so it happens it happens anyway Saj, i will see you guys later i hope you guys have a good night namaste